ChatGPT, Bing, Bard, just some of the most prominent consumer-facing AI applications out there. But how did they get so advanced? Well, there's a learning process, and that takes constant feeding of the information. And that work, often tedious, is done far away from Silicon Valley, and has created a small industry of its own. Take a look. Roshni is one of some 200 women who work at this data center in southern India. The 25-year-old's job as a data worker involves feeding algorithms with new information. This job feels like uh, giving, a, giving an individuality to me. Like, uh, I feel as an individual, like uh, I am earning now, I am uh, self-dependent, and I have freedom. Uh, like, uh, a financial freedom is something different uh, if you are experiencing that. Her company employs more than 700 people who all graduated from good schools. That's a must because the company deals with large international customers. So we're teaching the human intelligence to a machine that is simply called uh, artificial intelligence. We also use machine learning. For example, a car without driver. A safe driving car it is called autonomous driving. So in order to teach this machine or this car how to drive in a traffic, what is human, what is road, what is vehicles, we teach the machines by labeling, annotating objects. In Kerala, there's been an increase in AI companies and they're drawing interest from foreign firms. It's attractive because costs are lower. A young professional earns 250 euros per month on average. But branding challenges remain for companies trying to pitch their workers as serious competitors to others on the international market. It is not true that these workers are uh, low-skilled workers. That is not true. Many of them, I work with many workers in uh, Bulgaria and Syria and in Argentina, and many of them have degrees. They have degrees in computing, in IT, uh, computer science, and so on. So it is not, it's just that they don't have the, the opportunity to work in better jobs, so they do this uh, as a way to make ends meet. As a company, Infox is breaking the industry mold by offering sick pay and maternity leave. While Roshni still lives with her family, she finds the benefits appealing. We could save for ourselves and we can uh, give a better life for our family also. So this is a really good pay scale if we are uh, comparing other companies and all, I think. This hasn't been the standard in global AI data work. But with the sector growing 25% annually, things are slowly changing for the workers who feed machines with information.